Hey, what's good, everybody? Uh, so, back with another video. Uh, before I get into this, uh, so, I'm gonna say what it's really gonna be about. So, I got uh, five ways how to drop high kill games and just more kill games in general. So, uh, we got, uh, you know, a lot of good tips to help you out with that. Anyways, uh, so, so, you know, you're dropping high kill games, you know, you're really going for that, but you just can't find the people or you die too quick. But, all that other stuff, you know, here's some good tips. So, first thing, as you can see right off the bat, is you want to locate the people that are around you to get easy picks. So, somebody was below me, or somebody was, you know, to the left of me, you know, in the garage apartment, and I just went for them instantly after I got, you know, a pump and an AR, which is all you really need to go for somebody. Even just an AR is fine. So, uh, after that, as you can see, so that's the first tip, is you want to locate people for easy kills right off the bat so if somebody's like at a chest by you below you you know you're gonna want to go for them too since you have height advantage and they probably won't be ready for you so the first thing you want to do is so number one is you want to go for people that uh so want to locate people around you and go for them the second tip is play aggressive so right off the bat right after i killed them i didn't loot my house at all so if you're really going for high kill games you're not really going to want loot to loot houses because it's really a waste of time. I mean, yeah, you might get minis and shields, but sometimes you just got to go off what you have. So, uh, second thing is play aggressive and loot as quickly as possible. So, uh, that's two things right there. So, as you can see, I'm still going for more people. I hit him for a 96 white dome, so I'm going to know he's at, you know, like, four health. Hopefully he had no shield. So, uh, I'm just, like, playing really aggressive right now, you know, trying to... How did that not break off like three bursts? Anyways, so I'm playing really aggressive right now. Got that 32, got that clip. So here I would build, but I'm trying to conserve my math as much as possible, which is the next tip. So for the third tip, you want to conserve your math as much as possible because you're usually not going to have time to get mats if you're really going for ICO games. So you're going to want to conserve them as much as possible. So uh, I'm just trying to hold them off real quick, you know, so I can heal. I have, I do have 500 mats now, so it'd probably be fine to use, you know, a good amount of mats. Uh, you know, build a little, but you're still not going to want to go, like, in a build off with anybody anytime soon until you say you have, like, max wood or half wood and half brick. So as you can see, I could go in a build off with them, but I just break them down instantly because I want to end this fight as quick as possible. So you're going to want to end the fights as quickly as possible because... You're going to need all that time to go find more people and kill more people. Alright, so uh, back into, you know, dropping high kill games. So, after, you know, you drop all those kills at the beginning of the game, you know, you really need to rotate. So, uh, the best thing to do is find a rift or have a rift to go. But if you do have a rift to go and there's rifts around you, I would highly suggest to go for the rift because rift to goes are extremely nice because later in the game, you know, you're going to start to not find people. And then that's going to be really bad. So, uh, rifts can be, there's one by Pleasant right at that burger. And then there's ones behind Pleasant by that new, uh, building. And, uh, there's also, like, them all around the map. Anyways, so, you know, you just want a rift to go, or use a rift if you can. Usually, sometimes you can't. But after you use a rift, you really want to be looking around for people. Because once the storm starts closing in, it's when everybody's going to be rotating. So once you find people, like I find people at Tilted, you just want to land in them and go straight for them. Uh, pretty much full aggro mode. Alright, so, uh, for our fifth and final tip, uh, I can, I didn't really honestly feel like playing out a full game before tonight because, uh, I, yeah, I just don't feel like playing right now, you know, I'm pretty tired, so I'm just trying to go to sleep. Uh, so I just started up a playground match, and, uh, oh, here it is. So for the fifth tip for, uh, getting a Heiko game is, uh, you know, the ending, the mid through the ending. So, uh, last time I was talking about rotating off the first place you went. So, uh, other things, like, so after, you know, you go and rotate and you get a couple kills, you know, you're going to have to be going to the circle. Once, you know, the circle's closing and you're in the first circle, the first circle's closed, it's going to be really hard to get kills without rotating. Unless if people end up going to you, which hardly ever happens. So, uh, one of the first things is... Pretty much all it is is rotating and playing super aggressive, but rotating is the hardest part of that. So, uh, for example, uh, if 
So if you do have uh, icers, we all know, most people know the new strat is, you know, you build up with some icers and then, you know, you slide down and then you can impulse yourself or you could just slide down. So, uh, yeah, if you slide down and, you know, you could also hold some, uh, what are they called, impulse nades, which I I would highly prefer is, uh, if you have some icers, is to hold some uh, impulse grenades and also instead of your AR, I would probably run with a sniper if you're if you're pretty accurate with snipers because uh, me personally I'm really accurate with snipers and that's also gonna help a lot when you're trying to get you know high kill games so also you know just jump pads and anything you can to play as aggressive as possible there's also those with impulses but uh, you know they're not even in the game anyways uh, so you really just want to have stuff to rotate with jump pads you know rift to goes everything you just want to be able to rotate as quickly as possible and play extremely aggressive. So that's the fifth and final tip. So you want to, uh, you know, get a good landing, go for kills quick, play aggressive, don't take time to loot your houses, rotate off your first place, and then also uh, rotate at the end and play extremely aggressive. The last part is definitely the hardest. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out, drop in some high kill games. Uh, just make sure you know you're not playing too, you know, hard. Also, uh, make sure you conserve your mats. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, boys. See you guys.